everyone i hope you all are safe and doing good so in this video we will be discussing top 7 programming languages to learn in 2024 or we can say top 7 programming languages to learn for future the programming languages which are having great scope in future right if you are a beginner or if you have some knowledge of like you know coding and uh, still you are confused like which programming languages you should learn first or your second programming language or third programming language then this video is definitely for you because in this video We'll be discussing all these things the one by one number one programming language second third like this and uh, drawbacks and you can say benefits or advantages of learning each and every programming language and the application of each language in which field these programming languages are being used all these things we'll be discussing in this video right one by one so the first language i would recommend is go for python because it is very easy language to learn syntax is very simple you will feel like you are writing in English, simple English language. So if you are a beginner, you don't know anything about coding, you can go for Python language and it would be easy for you guys to learn this language, right? And it has gained so much popularity in recent year, year and it is still gaining popularity, right? And especially if you are interested in those artificial intelligence, machine learning field, data science field, automation, then definitely this is your language. This is the only language you should go for, right? And these are obviously, trending field the future of technology machine learning data science ai right so if you are interested in this field definitely pick python language right there are so many libraries here numpy pandas for dealing with large set of data tensorflow skyfi many uh, libraries are there you know which are going to allow you to work in these uh, fields researchers favorite language is python right and many big tech companies are using this language like google netflix amazon for automation for data science for you know uh, handling large set of data for artificial intelligence and a lot of documentation and many tutorials are available many courses are available so you can easily learn this language and it can be used in back-end development also through django flask to these frameworks now the second one is javascript 98% web is using JavaScript nowadays, right? So it is everywhere and it is skill scaling. It's like it has dominated the web development field, JavaScript language. So if you are a beginner and if you are interested in web development, like designing websites, even for front end development, full stack development, even back end development, go for JavaScript, right? This should be your first language to pick up, right? And it, ha it is having you know, a great scope in future, right? Beginner friendly language, not so tough to learn, right? Can be used both in front end and back end, right? You know ReactJS, so much popular, right? So these are the Angular, ReactJS, these, these are based on JavaScript, right? Through Node.js, you can use this JavaScript for back end development. And many big tech companies like even Facebook, Google are using this language. So. If you are a beginner and if you are interested in web development, even front end development, back end development or full stack development, go for JavaScript. And if you are a beginner, if you are interested in those for like data science, machine learning, AI, go for Python, right? Both are easy to learn, beginner friendly, but it depends in which field you are interested. According to that, you have to pick your choice. Both are having great scope in future, right? Third one is Java. Java is, yeah, it's very old, but it is still a pop very popular language. Still enterprise favorite language. Still Java is a go-to language for companies to pick up like while, you know, uh, developing uh, enterprise apps. Enterprise app means uh, like these are like, you can say consider these as normal apps, but these are specifically built for that, this, that particular business, that particular enterprise. So for that, Java is go-to language the most popular language to learn. Still, there are many job openings. Still, you know, and for experienced Java developers, the salary uh, is, you know, here. The salary package is much more and many openings are there. And still in future, is, in future also, this is having a great scope, right? And one drawback of this is it is a little bit tough. Yeah, it is tough compared to Python and JavaScript. But the plus point is what? If you go for Java, right? And after that, if you learn any other programming language, then it would be easy for you guys to pick up that other programming language, right? So that is a plus point. But yeah, for beginner, it is a little bit tough. 
to learn Java. But definitely, if you are interested, you can pick this language as your first programming language, right? Next, I would recommend go for Go or Golang. It is emer emerging language. It is gaining popularity and definitely it is having a great scope in future. Go language. It is designed by Google and definitely better than C and C++, right? And it is going to, you know, focus more on backend development, right? So it is being designed for backend development, backend services to provide backend services for cloud computing, like cloud services, infrastructure services, these kind of things. Yeah, it is having limited library and a limited community, but still it is emerging, right? And it is having a great scope. And it is technically type language and it is highly performance language, right? Simple and readable syntax, but there are, if you want to go in deep, then definitely you have to learn those high level, uh, you know, concept like concurrency, threading. These are little bit tough, right? But so you can choose this as your second language, right? Not first language. If you are a beginner, first go for either Python or JavaScript, right? These are easy to learn. Then go for as a second language, you can uh, choose Golang, right? Next, for mobile app development, either Kotlin or Swift, right? Kotlin is gaining popularity. See, uh, Kotlin is used for Android development, right? And Swift is used for iOS app development, right? So it depends in which field you are interested for in iOS or Kotlin, uh, sorry, in iOS or Android. Right. Uh, before Java was Java language was used for uh, app development for Android development. But later in 2017, Google announced the Kotlin as their official language for Android development. Right. And then it is gaining popularity and it will it is having a great scope in future also. And if you want to be an iOS developer, you want to develop iOS apps for like maybe for Apple Watch or Mac or uh, iOS you know, phone, um, uh, Apple phone, then go for Swift. It is also not so much difficult and the iOS developers are, are also having a good salary package. Next, Rust. It is like new C. It is gaining popularity. Uh, basically used in system programming for designing operating system. C was used first, but the big tech companies and those are, you know, uh, switching to Rust for uh, system programming, right, for system designing, for operating system. So uh, it is also a language of future, Rust. You can learn this, this also, but you choose this language as your maybe second or maybe third programming language, right? Because, yeah, it is difficult to learn a little bit, but it is secure and reliable and it has gained so much popularity in recent years. So you definitely, you can go for Rust. Next, last but not the least is SQL, Structured Query Language. It is the topmost database used. Simple query you can write, but yeah, you can write down more advanced and complex query as well. But definitely you, you should go for SQL also, right? If you wanna deal with database, because it is the topmost. So you can say the, one of the most popular database used. So that's it from my side. If you think that there should be another language in this list, then you can just write down in that comment section, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.